one of my deepest prayers is, God, I want to see people like you see people. And so God, show me, uh, I want to see the hearts of people like you see them. But in asking that, I see the pureness of people. I say, God, allow me to move as you want me to move. So then that way I'm in your will and not in my flesh, right? And in saying that, God also reminded me, he said, I'm going to show you the good in people, the, the goodness of their heart, but I'm also going to show you the wickedness and the evilness. So then that way you can take note and stay away. So that was one of the elements that recently um, I was like, oh God, yeah. So when I asked for that, yeah, I forgot about that part of people, right? Because we were telling the teens, we were like, listen, the enemy has no hands. He has no feet. He has no body. So he needs you as a vessel to go out and do things that you know you shouldn't be doing or how do you like how did how did we not allow that anger to stay rooted in us to where we weren't allowed to we didn't allow ourselves God's to love, love other people. it's God's love that's all it is that's what it that's is it. that's that's, it. that's what it is um that's and it. to love thy neighbor as thyself right and so I wasn't gonna we weren't going to allow the evilness of one person to dictate a whole race, yeah. right? Injustice, and still to this day, I mean, I'm sure everybody watching this goes through things. I still go through things in 2020 and don't allow that to change the way I know God's love wants me to treat people. And, and it wasn't hard for us. Like it literally, when you honestly want to show forth God's love, it's not hard right but then there's some people who don't who aren't christians so let's talk to the people right. who aren't christians right and they're like well i don't have jesus you know and i'm pretty ticked off right now i understand you're ticked off rightfully so and i don't know your hidden story i don't know why but i know that the burden that you're trying to carry isn't for you to carry alone right so allow he said cast all your cares upon me because i care for you um he said that all things work together for our good that's right. and that's like literally holding on and standing firm and believing his word is what allows for us to grow and prosper so the evilness in this world is not going to take the enemy is not going to steal my joy he's not going to steal my peace but we have the power to trample upon the serpent and scorpion upon and on all powers of the enemy and nothing by enemy shall hurt or harm us right so yeah, so that evilness, like, you're not going to deter me from doing what's right. Your evilness is not going to deter me from loving people. Your evilness, but what I will do is call it out. We will call it out and tell you that it's wrong. And we got to teach the next generation that, too. We were just having a conversation with our kids today and learning about some things that had happened with our oldest. Yeah. And we asked them a question. We said, wow, you know, how did you handle that? And he did not allow the situation that came to him, which was a racist situation, to change his view about people. And he said, I'm not going to let them win, is what I'm he said. I'm not going to let them win. You can't allow someone to get in your heart you so deep, right, to the point where you forget who God has called you to be. He called you to be loving. He called you to be kind. And listen, if Jesus had to endure, right? Wow. What makes you think we're not going to have to endure? Right. Um, it didn't make what they did right. It did. Because it wasn't right. Right. Right? It wasn't right. And yes, laws need to be enacted. Legislation needs to be changed. And why? Because God is doing a shift. Right? He is massaging the hearts of people because because the prayers have the prayers of the righteous avail of much for you all who are praying continue to pray for you all who are praying in march and continue to pray in march for you all who are praying and journalists continue to be pray and be the journalists whatever it is be the hands and the feet right we have to faith without works is dead so this is an action of our faith and knowing that god has heard our cries and heard our pleas and heard our grandparents cries and please our parents cries and please to him and they this haven't is, fallen on this is prayers years. answered this Pray is yes. prayers answered. this is it looks different hundreds of years this right here black lives matter above us and that, we're not walking around this and you prayers know answered. and we're not walking around in chains like we're literally not shackled right we're not physically shackled so yes it's going to take time for things to to happen now let me tell you something though but god is doing a quick thing he is doing a quick thing. It's not going to take as long and, you know, stop feeling like everybody's going to be on our side because they won't. Accept that. Accept that. There will be hearts that will not be changed. 
And that's just it. You just go all praying. the way into revelations. You be who it is that you know you're supposed to be. Don't let the bitterness and the hanger from, from these people who are deciding to be racist and deciding not to um, to do certain things. And God's gonna, God can still change their heart. They're being he exposed right now. They're being exposed. Yes. They're being exposed. And um, it's not you, too late. It's, God you, can still change he, their heart. He can. And you have to understand that that's what God does. He changes a heart because it has to... The Lord told me, he said that the the ears won't do what the heart won't let it. Right? So you want people to... We want people to hear us. But see, unless there's an inward change, unless there's a heart change, this isn't going to work. Because there are... What this is going to keep hearing are words, right? But it's once we get, we, that's why God tells us to protect our ear gates, right? Because it also translates to our heart. So he said that what the, the ears won't do, what the heart won't let it. So God, I ask that you, that you help them to understand that their thinking is wrong, that they're, what they're thinking is actually hatred, what they're thinking is actually racism, that uh, what they're doing is actually injustice. God, I ask that you make it clear to them so that their eyes may see, right? And that their ears may be open, God, and change their hearts. Because when you change a person's heart, their mouth, because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So that's why this is a spiritual warfare, because you have to change the inward person. You have to change. And let me tell you something. It's not going to, the legislation needs to happen, it's going to happen, right? But it is a fixing of the heart. And that's something that only God does. And do not get it twisted. Right? right, but the legislation is necessary because after he changes the hearts, there's going to have to be also be some things in place. Why? Because there's still going to be those crooked, evil people. So then that way, how things don't need to go backwards, he's going to put legislation in in um, in play. So then that way, it reminds them: nope, the changes I made are going to stick. Right? They're going to stick, and they're going to stay. And so he's equipped us for this fight, right? And we're not in it alone. And it's already fixed. What did he say? He said, we are more than conquerors. Do you know what it means to conquer something? Right. Larry and I were sitting up here and we were watching the last dance with Michael Jordan and all these championships that he won, right? Right. That's like the pinnacle for, for, any, for athlete. any athlete, you know, In any sport is to win the, the final, to be awarded that, that prize for their work, for their endearing, uh, for their, for their part, right? right? Being on a team or whether it's an individual sport or whatever the case is with that. Super Bowl, you know, all these NBA finals, all these different things. So I tell you that we've been given our marching orders and we are to pray, right? And those that have these hearts that we ask that God just allow them to repent and turn from their wicked ways and seek you, Lord God, so then that way they may find out, Father God, who you are. And just think about just even Jesus' disciples. They weren't perfect people to begin with, you know, uh, Peter, right. right? So God can change people's hearts. So we can't give up on everybody, right? We have to do our part as ministers of the, uh, of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Um, so and the, the Holy Spirit just told me, he said, even though it tarry, wait for it. Because in its appointed season, you shall reap if you faint like Don't you, faint. Don't faint. Don't. Though it tarry, right. wait for it. Though it tarry, that's what he's saying. What does it mean to tarry? Though it seems like you've been, we've been doing this for decades and, and centuries. 400 years. Right. He said, though it tarry, wait for it. Because imagine if it was, imagine if it was, it's going to be, God is, he is shifting. And he is molding us into who it is that he has called us to be as believers of Jesus Christ. And he's wanting us to compel people who need help and want answers right and he's right. he's teaching us how to live our gospel out loud right to live the foundation of jesus christ out loud and we're gonna march right and i think it's a great correlation of understanding that it's not just it's just not, it's not just african americans who are marching no. right it's not just black people no, it's, it's not even about that at this point. No, it's just about, you know, what I see that you're treating people of color a certain way. And guess what? It's not right. I see the injustices. A lot of times people can say, I experience it on my job. I hear what you're saying in the boardroom. I hear what you said in the bathroom. I see how you treat this 
culture uh, uh, versus this culture. And I'm calling you out on it because it's not right. It's like that analogy. I love it because it's like a parable. It's yes. If one house is on fire, we are calling the fire department for what? That, that one house. house. We're calling it for that one house. Why? Because they're the ones that need to be saved, right? We want to be able to save that house. So that's what people are doing. Um, and it's not that the rest of the houses on the block don't matter. They all matter. But currently there is one <laughs> on fire, right? But then if you go into the scripture and it also talks about you that he will leave his 99 sheep to go and find the one. So that's what also allows uh, the, the life of Jesus Christ to be manifested in this earth right now. It just isn't fairy tale stories or old stories that our grandparents told us. God's word is God breathed and it is alive. It is active. If you can't see God's word live and active right now, I don't know what to tell you. And I'm not gonna argue with you, right? right? So I, I think I hijacked that whole conversation, Larry. I love it. I and I'm love so it. sorry. Listen. Uh, fellas, you need to go get you one. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> you go get you one just like this. <laughs> uh, well, you know, whoever God has ordained you to have. That's right. You know?